This video is sponsored by OWC. Apple today announced its 33rd annual Worldwide Developer Conference that's set to take place from Monday, June 6th to Friday, June 10th. Now, the event will still be all digital, but the good news is Apple will still keep the conference free to everyone with a developer account. So for those who wish to attend any sessions or you're looking to get into uh, app development, I highly encourage taking advantage of this if you can. Though the event will be digital, Apple also plans to host a special day for developers and students at Apple Park on June 6th to watch the keynote and State of the Union videos together. Now, space will be limited and Apple will take applications for this. So if you're interested, be sure to sign up for that. The keynote event for WWDC is going to be held on Monday, June 6th, presumably 10 a.m. Pacific time. And we are expecting Apple to unveil the latest updates to its software, including iOS 16, macOS 13, tvOS 16 and watchOS 9. It also is possible that we could see new hardware at WWDC as Apple is working on an updated Apple Silicon Mac Pro, a new version of the MacBook Air, and more. Apple actually mentioned that the Mac Pro is on its way at the last event and said that it's coming later this year. And WWDC seems like a pretty great place to announce this product, although the event typically focuses on software, so it might not happen. There actually hasn't been a lot of leaks in terms of what we can expect to see at WWDC 2022, at least in the software department, but I would imagine those leaks will start picking up closer to the event. So be sure to stay locked into MacRumors.com and of course, this channel right here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our rumor recap videos and articles that we might be putting out soon. Now, in terms of what we could maybe see, there are some rumored features for the next generation iPhone 14 that could lead to some early software tweaks like a rearrangement of the status bar, since the new iPhones are expected to adopt a hole punch or a hole in pill shape cutout at the top instead of the traditional notch that we've had for like the last four plus years. If Apple decides to announce its long rumored AR VR headset at WWDC 2022, well then we can see a slew of new software features for that headset, including an entirely new operating system solely for that headset, though it is unclear if Apple will actually announce this in June or not. So of course, stay tuned for that one. I would love to hear your thoughts on WWDC, everything that's going on with that event, uh, what you might have on your software update wish list. Go ahead and let me know everything in the comments down below. Now, before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC has come up with a solution for those who want to have more than one external display with your M1 Mac. This is the OWC USB-C Dual HDMI 4K Display Adapter with Display Link, and it solves that problem and allows users to connect two HDMI 4K displays via a single Thunderbolt port for M1 Macs, but also really just any Mac or PC that users might want to do the same thing with. It is bus powered and features an integrated USB-C cable for easy use on the go. It's very portable yet very durable and allows HDMI pass-through support for audio signals to pass through the adapter and onto the connected displays. If this is an issue that you've had recently, I highly recommend picking up this product as it should solve all of your issues. And of course, if you wanna check out this product or any other product that OWC has to offer, click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.